All right, I'm going to try out a joke with you that, I mean, you really need visuals. We used to do this joke with Bela Lugosi when we didn't know what to play. When we were doing improv and suddenly we had nothing. Nobody had anything. Even the painter who was painting something on stage or the nude, you know, excess... Uh, Cirque du Soleil. Sorry, I got a blank there. It was a bad time. I There's something about piercings. It triggers some PTSD about somebody arriving in my bed with piercings along with maybe an ex-wife or the baby or something. It's a long story. I'm not supposed to talk about it. it keeps coming up. It's annoying people. So this story is Ahmed and Nahmed. There's a slight different. They're, they are twins. These twins, Yachamed and Nachamed, um, are tourists from another country. Imagine which one. Oh, you can make it any country you want, but their names are Nachamed and Yachamed, right? They're kind of different, but they are the same. All right. So let's just say that they're both short, stocky. They look like George on um, the Seinfeld. Now, you're going to go, you don't know this show, so Forget about it. Let's go to another joke. Nachmed and Yachmed are taking a tourist attraction. They look like Nachmed and Nachmed, okay? They're at Paris. They're going to take the um, touristic view of the uh, Eiffel Tower. It's pretty high. Got to take an elevator up there. There's some sort of restaurant on top. It can be very scary. Nobody knows how that thing is holding up, right? So, Nachmed doesn't want to go all of a sudden. And Yachmed's like, oh my God, I'm going to go, though. We got to go. We paid for the tickets. We paid for the restaurant. Yeah, but Nachmed takes off on his own. So he gets to the first story and he's looking down and he sees Nachmed, like, looking up and not see him very well, but so he's yelling down at him really loud. Hey, Nachmed, check it out. I'm on the first floor of this thing. You got to come up. Please come up. Join me. Now the elevator is going to the second floor, third floor. Groceries, third floor, ninth floor. Lingerie, right? Beep. He's at the restaurant, tavern on the top of the Eiffel Tower. Now he's there's little ways to go. He's going to go to the very, very top. He's going to have to make a walk. But he's yelling down there now. Yachmed is so tiny to Nachmed, who's yelling down at him. Yay, Nachmed, can you see me? I can see all the way to Paris, Texas. Nachmed's like not even hearing. So he's starting to yell some more. Nachmed, Nachmed, come on up. It's wonderful, nothing to be scared of. It's not even tilting in the wind, right? He, Nachmed's just refusing down there, trying to hide himself, probably amongst the crowds, right? He doesn't like his brother screaming like that for no reason. So the brother continues on, and now it's all stares and clunk. He's going, he's, he's kind of whimpering. Why would Nachmed come up? What can I do to make... Nachmed, come up and join me at this tavern on the top of the Eiffel Tower where all these, you know, Christmas lights have been forever. Planes run into the Christmas lights. Someone's coming to my door. Somebody with a broken leg and I don't know. Oh, he's going to pee. I'm not going to look. You see what you've done, Dudley. You know how close he is to uh, the church and the elementary school. It's right there next to where Jeremy owned and runs proudly the the point market across from the Magnolia. He's saying sorry. No, poor guy, you're peeing on yourself. It's okay. I'm not looking. No, don't worry. Don't worry. No, don't worry, man. I've been there. I did. I know what it's like. They don't give us places. Oh, the poor guy was apologizing to me. Oh. Dudley. Dude. Yeah. You want a rest of the joint? No, I can't. Thank you. All right. Hey, that's a badass car. Oh, thank you. You're the first to notice. Usually I've been like, yeah, ah. This is the first time I'm going to get a car. Really? A brand new one. 
Sweet. Yeah, well, that's what this one. I'm trying to turn it into the lemon law. I bought it new, and it keeps breaking down. It looks oh, that's badass. Not good. This is what those VMW do. Did they break you, down? Yeah, they made it. You remember when they did that thing where they made it seem like it was getting better gas miles? It was better for the yeah, yeah, yeah. economy. And then the UCSB students found out that it only worked on the computer. Like when they got when you got it smog checked. Something about the wheels being up, yeah, like not running. But if you ran it in the streets, there's all this smoke coming out. And I got a friend who got one, and they hey, were like, "Do you know? Do you know? Do you do a lot of programs? You could tell. How do you know? Are you because you could tell. Hey, I was gonna tell you. Yeah, I'm trying to get. I need um. The other day I came in my in my car, right? Yeah. And all my brothers went in there and they just fucking started taking all my shit. Like, oh man, I hate that shit. It was what like, are you doing, dude. Yeah, when they steal from the brothers. You, you gotta stop and yeah, do another thing. Yeah, you know, took all my resources. Were they pissed or were they just tweaking and needed money? Fucked. Yeah, man, you know? I'm sorry. I've had roommates where I'm like, okay, yeah, and, it's gotta and, stop. And I went in there and yeah. I'm like, I told you, dude, what are you doing? Yeah. Now I can't trust you next time. Don't yeah. come in my car. Yeah. I can't leave my windows down. Yeah. It gets me fucking mad. No, no, no. I've, I've, I've smoked no, people I, I, out, I just and then the where's my sunglasses? Stupid, and then they fucking like, dude, you keep doing it repeatedly. Dude. Doing the same I thing. Caught up to your ass. You know. Shit. It's a fucking ass whooping. Let me take this cast off. Dude. Yeah, that's another thing, man. I saw you with the cast. That's why from there I was going, oh man, I was yelling at the district attorney of this city. I was like, look. We shouldn't, he shouldn't have to be there. He should be able to go to the bathroom and, you know, yeah, don't, don't we, they don't give us around. nothing here, right? Yeah, I'm straight. Don't trip. I'm good. I just, I smoke once in a while. Yeah, I'm the same way. I, I, it keeps me away from drinking and then the drinking gets me into any other drug. You know what I'm saying? With the, this, the district city? Yeah. Well, yeah. She, she has a daughter. I was in a band with her. And the daughter and the band, we were having pictures taken up in Man, the I'm hills. Do good, dude. Fuck, dude. There's a reason, you know, yeah. everything happens, dude. There's always a reason. Yeah. 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 That's what's cool. You know? Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, um. I just, just. But, but those, so, you don't see those friends? I mean, those friends, did they come and apologize or anything? Or is it just like, that's bygones? That's it, huh? That's it. Yeah. yeah. It just, I have to come down here because of my family, but I hesitate. That's why I'm in Galita. Because I'm so used to, but. You know, I just have you, to... So you have to go somewhere else? You got to no, get out of here? No. No, you no. got to be here. Yeah, I talked to my brother and he's like, here, man, stay in a fucking hotel so I get all this, you know? I need him. Sweet. But, also, you got to watch out. It happens. For your family, that they don't, like, turn you in, like, that you're stuck in some clinic. No, they're cool. I know. They're cool. Know. Because my, my mom once... I said, you understand what I'm saying here? You, oh, that's, yeah, that, no, and yeah. she'll be like, hey, okay, yeah. I know. I'm going to call the cops and say, you stole your own car. And I'm like, hello? I'm like, I'm mom, sure. no, she no, does no. shit like hey, that. I'm and I'm cool, going, holy shit, what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, I'm cool. No, fuck that. I don't know. What's your name? Kenny. Kenny, I'm Isha. Hey, Isha, I'm just, you know, I don't know. Nice yeah, meeting you, Kenny. Not, don't let them. That's don't let them get to you. Yeah, it's the trolls. They're trolls. Yeah. Like you said, oh, nice on the ground. I That's it to say, fuck those trolls. My grandfather would have done that. Just like, all right. I'm yeah, 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 I'm good. Like, I got your back for real. Because people say I got your back, but. They do, though. Like, I know, I know. I meet people like you. When I meet people in the street, I always know, oh, well, if some shit, like, if all of a sudden the guy is the no, liquor they're store. Not, they're good. It's just, yeah. I, I, you know, I, I kind of want to, you know, I want to learn things. Yeah. Person in life and society and stay out here. Yeah. I'm gonna get a nice car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, my shit got fucked up. Yeah, what happened? Uh, and now you don't want to talk about it? Big. Yeah. You know, I can't. Yeah, I got my last friend. He, he 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 was like the last time he went to Burning Man. He came back like that, and I was like, "What happened?" He was like, "I don't know." I was like having fun everyone said it was fun and it, it just the ground dropped out and I don't know if you know the structures out there it's like you have to be on top of it and he went to that zone and then whoa All right, man. hey well, Kenny me, so no 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 I thought that was awesome because I was saying God I was just saying I, I was in that same situation but a cop came over oh yeah oh look at that that's sex right there whoa that's an awesome so classic. Who are you? 
<laughs> You're awesome, Kenny. Thanks, man, for, for talking to me. You know, people are. COVID, they don't want to talk anymore. All right, well, that was awesome. I guess we are going to do an audit. So that was a Nomad Kenny. He's going off to do some transaction with a car that reminded my grandfather had that exact car, but all white. That looks like it was painted red, but it's like an Impala, I believe. They have these huge wings in the back. It's so beautiful. They're so thick. And I remember being, you know, just a kid and my grandfather's driving. He's an old guy already. And we'd be driving down Milpas, which was where all the Latinos, at that time, it was their neighborhood. And my grandfather would be driving down there to either get his car fixed or to go to this Santa Cruz market that we've been talking about with, like, the, the stamps and everything. And, um, yeah, and they would... My grandparents would always go, like, one store would be for the watermelon, another one would be for the cantaloupe, another one would be for the grapes. That was their day. And they'd go to this one park at one particular part of the time of day and just circle this park. It was their walking routine. And while they were circling, I kept pulling. When they weren't looking, I would pull the fire department's uh, fire alarm. They had a thing there on the corner. I kept pulling it till they got some undercover fire department men who looked just like the CIA who chased down the guy in uh, Broderick in that war games, you know, when he's just getting out of the 7-Eleven. He's like, oh, my God. So I'm a little younger than this Broderick character and computers weren't done yet. And I, I was pulling this fire truck. Yeah, I'm that young. I'm pulling this fire truck on a string connected to some bamboo. My grandfather would always do interesting toys like that. Now, these CIA guys, FBI guys are doing check one, two, you know, tucking into their um, sleeves and stuff. They had nabbed me. They knew it was me. I don't know how. There was probably some surveillance happening in this park, you know, for years. But they knew it was me. They tried to explain to my grandparents they needed to take me in just to prove that it was me because there was something on my hands, it turned out. Yeah, there's something I did feel kind of sticky. It was a new product. They were going to use some sort of special light, they said to my grandparents, and uh, do check out my hand. Now, my grandparents didn't understand English all that well. My grandmother could only understand English if it was my sisters talking or um, the radio or if it was I Love Lucy. My grandfather, he just tuned I Love Lucy like straight out, and he was always reading the Pravda, trying to keep an eye that these communists didn't sneak over. Now, he would tell me at this time as he was teaching me chess, so I must have been like 11 years old when that started, and he would tell me, do you know, son, that there could be a possibility of some sort of gang, some sort of gang just showing up here in the United States. They're going to be really quiet. We won't know. It'll be all under the table. Now, he's telling me this in Russian, so it's even more colorful. But I was envisioning 9-11. I saw the thing, like, oh, I see how it could happen. Because he was telling me, well, they'll never be able to make it over here to have even enough gas to come and bomb us like they're telling you in, in, in the schools and that they're scaring you with those alarms and making you go under the table and saying, look at these photos, look at these, they're frying, the children are frying, we did, who did this? We did this. So you know there's going to be some retaliation, kids. A third grade, oh, at the Peabody Elementary School. I'm remembering it, it's all coming back. Oh, man. It's not going to be good for some of you during that reunion, right? Right, Shell Ambassador, the one who ran away from me but used to like me, used to have a crush on me in third grade. I was nice to you about the horses. You were the only one. Yeah, but it was Kathy Ireland in the, at La Colina, right, who stood up to the mean girls uh, when they were being mean to me after I, you know, serenaded them behind the backs of their you know, lovers, they shouldn't even have been having sex. Ah, they didn't like me talking. Nobody did, none of the gangs, none of the cliques. That's how I became that crazy loner who learned how to ride a unicycle while dragging a cello that was bigger than him on his back. And inside of my headphones would be Warren Zevon doing that. Ah, ooh, werewolves of London. 
Yeah, and I got into Bela Lugosi big time. Yeah, but, I, you know, goth, I had to... That was maybe my third divorce, was someone who was goth. Oh, speaking of Marilyn Manson's manager, whatever happened to that car? We know now that it's been towed. We know that they pretended nothing happened. We know that there was a miscommunication between the world and the fuel depot, turned out. I was talking about what it was 20 years ago, and they're talking about what it is right now. It belongs to Jeremy, and Jeremy has shut down so many places. But not the nomads outside. Did you hear? We met some new names. We met Sean from Dogtown, I'm going to say. And this Kenny... Yeah, ooh, Kenny's dead. Oh, Kenny, come on. No, Kenny was never dead. Kenny was like the name of my best friend on Palo, Cali, Colorado. We used to do late night deliveries for the news press, Santa Barbara news press, at a time where now you can find online that there were disappearing newspaper boys at that time. It was the time, like in Seattle, the place to be, even Portland, maybe. Serial killers, serial, hard to say, killers, hang out there. But they don't hear. We haven't heard of that yet. We heard of um, alpha dogs. I did take you up into those hills, like I was talking about the hot springs. And they just made him smoke a lot of cigarettes, this poor kid, before he had to... um, dig his own grave they couldn't do anything for the kid right forcing him to smoke the cigarettes now he's sick now he has to dig this shallow grave but luckily he was found right away because of that and because of this crew that was i don't know sloppy it all happened in santa barbara santa barbara california all over what drugs or money yeah wasn't even the drugs the drugs were gone they were probably still friends when they were doing the drugs How much was it? How much is your brother worth? I think it was like $2,000, maybe $10,000. They made a movie about it. There's a lot of those, the last 24 hours of Hollywood. 